right guys, Jessica here with Home Sweet Farmhouse and we're doing another moving vlog. Hopefully I'm gonna have, I don't know, I mean, I'm gonna have more and more content for you on moving and so much more content once we once we get to the house, but we're decluttering, we're packing, we're, we're doing all the things. So stick with me in this video. I'm gonna do a lot of just, you know, tape, music overlays and just, you know, let's get through. I went to my sister's wedding recently and it was a destination wedding, absolutely beautiful venue, beautiful little city resort town tucked away in the mountains of North Carolina. And I mean, it just like, I took a couple of minutes, I probably should have taken longer to connect with nature. And it was so soothing, I took some video. <laughs> All the things for you let me know in the comments what you think and what you want to see once we get to the new house because there's so much there's just there's so much content like that that could happen in the new house so let me know what you want to see by posting in the comments below let's get into the video and oh make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel also I haven't mentioned it in a couple of weeks, so definitely check out my other channel as well. I'm a pet parent coach, Jessica L. Fisher, the furry family coach. You wanna check that out. I, the link tree in my description will also get you there. So you can search it, you can go to the link tree in the, the description, check out my other channel. Yeah, can't wait to see you there. And until next week, here's this week's content. Okay, so we're gonna start packing. First of all, we have gotten more packing done. So I have been trying to do about two boxes a day um, just because I have been so busy working so much and I have gotten between two and three boxes a day done, which is nice. And then my husband, you can see all that right there, took apart the bookcases in my office, which honestly I love, but they are way too small to hold all of my books. So I will probably utilize them in a different way in the new house, maybe bathroom storage or something like that because we do have spare bathrooms I don't think I'll need it in our master bath uh, because we're gonna have a lot of storage in there, but it'll be, you know, something pretty and decorative in the spare bathrooms, potentially, we'll see. We did get two TVs boxed up. I have, I had a small TV in my office that I had set up for when my mom visited. And it actually came in handy um, a couple of times this year when I had two of my cats that I had to let go and I just spent the day, we, we spent most of the day outside and then when we came in to prepare for the vet to come, we just chilled out and I put the TV on and got a cup of tea and my cat slept for a while and anyway, it was nice. Um, and then the TV from our bedroom, we got packed up. It was not easy to pack these up and these flat screen TV packing kits from U-Haul, they're not super cheap, but um, they're worth it. <laughs> so as you can see, this is a tiny, tiny TV. It was like a 16 inch, but that was like a 60 something inch. So I think it's gonna be worth it. In the long run, we still have that one to pack up and we have a box for it right there in the hallway. But my husband isn't quite ready to pack that up yet. This, however, this little disaster, I'm gonna work on this today. <laughs> uh, Yes, so I'll probably just set the camera up and do like a time lapse for you.
basically, I just got rid of everything that actually needs to be packed away. And this is all of our packing supplies. So we've got a bunch of bubble wrap, which I'm going to possibly use today. Um, shrink wrap, paper, like uh, packing paper, as well as newspaper and a bunch of tape for our tape gun. Shrink, the shrink wrap is for all kinds of things. Um, we used it for the TVs already. So this is our like packing supplies in addition to all of these boxes over here. And then everything that actually needs to be packed, I put it where it needs to be packed. What I found was my husband had a couple of boxes that were like half full from stuff from his office. So I put those back in his office so he can finish filling them. I'm gonna start packing up. This is for me to pack. <laughs> and then I'm gonna um, start in the bedroom, I think. So yeah, we did get one hit on our um, bedroom set. Somebody was gonna come today to buy it. Um, and then he said, "Never mind, my wife doesn't like it. So cross your fingers. crossing my fingers that we get it sold soon and yeah so I'm gonna start boxing some stuff up and we'll go from there Okay, so I'm sorry about this. Though I will say, my husband told me today that it looks like I have fake lashes and I don't. Like that's just mascara. So let me know in the comments <laughs> what you think. I also, in this video, am going to, so I don't think I showed you. I think I, I think it was on my other channel because I'm, I'm transporting the cats in my car with me. Um, I have, like large crates. I bought two. And the two that I originally bought, uh, I kind of I, I put them together and put them in my car to see how they would work out in another video, but I think it was on my other channel. So I can link that below or comment and let me know <laughs> if you want to see that. And they fit, but it was a tight fit. So I returned those and I got two more crates. So I'm gonna get those boxes finally opened up today cross your fingers that they they're gonna be big enough um, and I'm gonna get those set up today and make sure they're gonna fit in the car they're each gonna hold two cats and a small litter box is the goal in a in a water bowl even though my cats are not good at drinking cats in general are not good at drinking water and they need, they need to have access to it so a water bowl their litter box a small litter box and then two cats in each Right. and they're like soft-sided crates, so I'm gonna get those set up and unboxed in a little bit once my husband gets back from Costco. This way, and this one goes this way.
So I'm gonna just, I, I mean, these look like they're gonna fit in my car just fine, but I'm gonna take them out just to make sure and like situate them in the car and situate them in the car and just make sure it's going to work out because we don't have much longer, so I gotta get this figured out. I hope they both fit together this time. I think they will. It looks pretty, looks pretty good. I think they'll even fit side by side. Maybe. <laughs> yes. So we did it. Um, the crates fit in the car, which is wonderful. I got a few more things boxed up. I got a little bit more organized, like a little bit. Hopefully, and I don't know, when the movers get here to actually like pull all the boxes and furniture out of the house and load the truck, I'm gonna try to get some footage of that. It might be a little chaotic, but I'll also try to get some footage like driving. So that'll be my next update video for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you like it, if that's what you wanna see next. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.